Hey guys, it's Kate. I'm back today to show you my pin collection. Um, we originally, I've had my pins in several different ways. I've had them in books, I've had them on big pin boards, but they just get too heavy to actually hang and display. So as soon as I saw these heart canvases in the dollar section at Target, I knew they would be perfect for pins. So I wanted to kind of just showcase what I have here. Um, I did upload a tour of Abel's game room where I showcased his pin board, um, but I actually didn't go through it one by one, so if you'd like to see that, I can do that for you. Um, but as you can see, I've divided each of the hearts in half to represent two princesses. So on the left here, I've got my Snow White collection, and on the right, I have my Cinderella and Prince Charming collection. Moving on to the next heart, these actually should be swapped. Sleeping Beauty released before Little Mermaid. But now that I've got them all arranged on there, I don't want to have to rearrange them. So on the left is Ariel and Prince Eric. And on the right is Princess Aurora and Prince Philip. Next one down is Belle and Jasmine. So on the left, we've got Belle and some of the Beast. As well as on the right, we have Princess Jasmine. Next one down here is my... Princess Tiana and Anna and Elsa pins. So on the left you see Tiana and Naveen, and on the right Anna and Elsa, and there's actually one of Anna and Kristoff that's a Valentine's one. This one is my favorite. Rapunzel is my favorite princess, so she is the one that I have the most pins for. And you can see I have quite a collection of Rapunzel, Flynn, Pascal. I love that board. And then this one's actually for my mom. Ursula is her favorite villain, and we actually got to meet, or not me, I take that back. We saw the voice of Ursula at the D23 convention we went to years ago. Um, so getting to see her in person, and just like I said, that one's always been my mom's favorite character, so I kind of collect those for my mom. Now I'm going to actually come back and show you some of the ones that open up. So for example, all of these are compacts that open and reveal the princess itself. So there is Snow White up there. Sorry, it's a little out of my reach. I'm like on my tiptoes. Um, same for Cinderella. It is a love letter that says, you are a dream come true. I can't actually pull it all the way up because of this print pin above it. Okay, moving on to the next one. Again, this is a love letter that says, you are my world. Again, I can't pull it up all the way. This one opens up to reveal Ariel and Eric. This one is the new doorway um, to Disney collection, and when you open it, Maleficent is there. Same for here. You open it, you see Aurora and Prince Philip. And then this letter opens up to say, I loved you at once. Those are the lyrics in that song. Ooh, shaky camera work, guys. I'm sorry. Um, you work out. <laughs> this camera's heavy. Um, this one is the pin from the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party with Belle in her snow costume and Beast. This is just like that Sleeping Beauty series. I've got the Belle and Beast one there. And again, this is just like the locket one for Snow White. You open it up and there's Jasmine inside. Ooh, all right, hopefully it won't be so shaky now. <laughs> Um, so for the Tiana and Naveen, I have, it says, you are all I need, and this opens up to see Anna and Elsa, and again, this was from the v Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party this past year, opens up to see Elsa. I really like the interactive pins. I definitely feel like I have a lot of those. Now the Rapunzel ones, I've got a few. This is a... Disneyland Paris one that look, is made to look like a macaroon. You open it up to see her. This one with the little Pascal hanging on, again, you open it up and see Rapunzel there. Um, this one is probably one of my favorites. You open it up and you can see Mother Gothel, Gothel, Gothel and Rapunzel. Um, and I believe that's all of the interactive ones there. And then the only one that I've got interactive for Ursula is this actually spins. Um, this little middle piece will spin, but the way that it's positioned on the board, it can't spin it. Oh, and her tentacles spin here too, see? So 
that is my collection. I really enjoy it. Um, like I said, if you guys would like to see a collection or look through of Abel's, just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I will do that for you. If you have any specific questions about the collection, just please leave them in the comments below and I will address them as quickly as I can. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.